my fellow seniors and welcome back. Today we are going to be playing some more Amnesia a Machine for Pigs. So this time I've got the light and my rum turned off. So hopefully that'll help with the sun glare that I've been getting on the videos lately. So yeah, we just mixed up uh, Compound X, whatever the fuck it's called. Uh, low temperature storage. Oh yeah, that's right. All those thingies clothes. So we gotta take this shit and whoop. We gotta go up here. Oh, don't do that. Or do we go back here? No, yeah, we go up the stairs. Okay, that's what I thought. Alright, let's go. Up the stairs. Up the stairs. Uh, and then I think we gotta replace this shit with some shit, right? No, not in there. Where do we put the shit? I don't know where we're supposed to put the shit. Oh, there we go. Okay, it had to go on the door. All right, that makes a lot of sense then. And can we just jiggle this loot? No. What are we supposed to do now? Do we just wait? Do I throw a chair at it? I'm going to throw a chair at it. Where's the chair? There it is. Give me that. Give me the goddamn chair. No, that didn't work. Do we just wait? What the hell am I supposed to do? Just wait? Oh! We have to shine the light on it! <laughs> that took me way too long to figure out! I was running around fucking everywhere trying to figure out what to do. Whoa! Alright, well that was way simpler than my brain told me it was. Oh, we got blood, and now I'm going all woozy-woozy. Oh god, little kitties! Well, shit. Alright, down here? Oh no, can I just... Okay, we'll, we'll do that, fine. Not worth taking the risk of just jumping down now. Do we just jump down that? Uh, okay, don't die. Oh! Are we not dead? I hope we're not dead. Oh! Oh! What's happening? What's happening? Oh! Shit's all blurry. I can't see shit. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wait, it didn't look like this when I looked down before. Skulls and everything? Oh my god, okay. That's fine. I'm a manly man. I ain't scared of no skulls. All right, we got a piece of paper right here. October 22nd, 1899. Naturally, once bled, the product must be scalded, de-haired, and scraped. Ready for gram broling. And if it's... Fuck that word. For this, we pass them through the steam reservoir, which is kept at a constant temperature by passing excess high-pressure venting from the engines, via the boiler and a series of large copper pipes, into a stone chamber just below the workhouse. At the center of the machine, there is a component that must be kept at a constantly low temperature, which controls operations of the processing of product through the system. Alongside this, refrigeration is of the utmost importance in retaining product quality. And this also requires heat to be removed from certain areas of the machine. Two problems are therefore combined into a single solution. The removal of heat from some areas and the requirements for increased heat in others. Conducting panels draw heat using the principles of convention convection regulated by the boiler and sending freezing air along one set of pipes in one direction and superheated vapors in another. Okay. Ooh. Isn't it dangerous allowing this filthy discharge to collect so close to the core? We can use the flow to drive the turbines. There will always be a torrent of excreta flooding through these tunnels. We can use this to supplement the steam production and ensure constancy. God, the stench! This fecal matter is the true product of the age. Fecal? Whoa, what the hell was that? Something's getting shocked the fuck up. Oh, it's one of those shocky shocky things. The flooded tunnels. My mysterious friend is correct. The sewers are indeed flooded. To descend further, I will have to find the local sluice pumps to drop the water levels. The smell is almost unbearable. It makes me gag. Why should the saboteur have flooded the tunnels though? What did he hope to achieve? He hoped to achieve shock of my ass is what he fucking hoped to achieve. Alright, so we got something over there, and what do we got over here? Oh, why am I blinking? Why am I blinking? Alright, so we can't get through there. 
Okay. Over here. Yeah, we can't. I don't think we're going to be able to get through there either. All right. I don't know what the fuck that was. Hello? Shit. Oh, this is a fucking. Hello! This is a fucking maze, isn't it? Oh no, I don't like mazes, yo. I do not fucking like mazes. Okay, now we're over here. If I step in this, will I die? Okay, no, I won't. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, that thing will come after me, though. Oh, yeah, that's right! We have to drop the, uh, the water levels to the thingy thongy. And then we can go over there. All right. What do we got? All right. Dead end there. And we got this shits. All right. Do I just turn this, right? All right. So there's Sluice 1. And we got to open up Sluice Gate 2, right? Oh, hey, the phone. They're waiting for me. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Uh... August 1st, 1899, several of the older forms have breached their containment area and escaped into the sewers. They remind me of my limitations. This is no Chelm, and I am no Eliyahu. At least, not quite yet. It is the heat generated from keeping the doorway between open that is to blame. We cannot simply pack them about with coolant as we do at the entire... At, well, bleh, let me reread. Hold up! We cannot simply pack them about with coolant as we do at the center where the doorway is. The later versions are kept safe by the freezing temperature of those towers. Up here, where the air is hot and feeded, they become overheated, and their quality tears them asunder. As the other place flies from their cells and their vitae splinters, they live sporadically turn from one world to the other and back again in a violent, unpredictable burst. For a few seconds, they are creatures of this world. Then they are torn away and cease to have physical form. This vicious ripping back and forth between worlds has driven them quite insane. I have ordered the affected areas sealed and will not allow my local workers to enter. These are damned places now, the abode of failed experiments. Ghosts of fear and spite. Oh, uh, well, shit. Is that what that bitch chasing me is? Failed ass experiment? Probably. Uh, why is that shit glowing? Uh, flood breach? Uh, okay. Is there something else we have to do here? Or was that it? We have to find Sluice 2, though. I don't know where that's at. Loose gate two. Wait. <laughs> so we need sluice gate two to open up that shit, but huh? Did I miss something? Oh! Oh, okay, so sluice gate one opened up this passageway. Alright. And we got a fucking monster monster, don't we? All right. What's happening over here? Okay, that so that opened up this whole area. But I don't think we have to do anything over here, right? Wait, so how do I get sluice gate number 2 open? Do I have to go in the water? Is that what they telling me right now? Ooh, excuse me. I'm not sure if that's what they Oh, we have to go around. Okay. Hi, right, I got you. I got you now. I got you, brother. Brother from another mother. Alright, let's head true. What we got, what we got. Alright, so we... Alright, here it is. Alright. 
Alright, that's fine. Close the door behind you. Don't let it hit your ass on the way out. <laughs> okay, that wasn't that funny, I know. Alright, uh, page back here. That, that one's hiding, yo. It don't want to be found. February 17th, 1899. And I said, look, my darlings, can you see it? And they said, yes, daddy, yes, we see it. A tall, weathered cap of a steep-sided pyramid, so like those of Egypt. Stone falling away from the summit, vines crawling about, intertwining the stucco serpents that thrive about the steps. A palpable sense of stillness, a weight of forgotten. And this, here, this is where the king sat. And this is where the priests lived. This house. This is the house of the dead. And here, where the sun strikes, this is where they threw the hearts that were not consumed. No, my darlings, they most certainly were not savages. You see, they believed that the sky could fall on their heads. And they truly, truly believed that offering blood was the only way of stopping this from happen happening. Perhaps, my darling, perhaps they were mistaken altogether, or perhaps their tragedy was they simply could not spill blood enough to prevent the sky from falling upon them. So, are they, like, doing some Mayan worship shit? Blood sacrificing? I think that's what's happening. Alright, so here's loose gate number two. Boom. Cool, cool. So I think we good there. I right, we got a journal entry. Mandis Pos Deluvian. That's done it. Now I can enter the strange decontamination chamber once again and move upwards. The waters are pushed back, making the way up to the bilge clear, where I can divert the remainder of this filthy torrent back into the Thames where it belongs and clear the path to the center of the machine. I, I. Uh, I think I gotta go down here go into this thing? Uh, I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I hope this is the right way to go. I don't, I don't think, uh, uh, no, that's, that's closed off. Maybe the other side? I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Oh, maybe over here? What's over here? Oh, no, that's just a dead end. Or is there some shit over there? Oh, th there, yeah, kind of. What the hell is this? But we can save them. We can set them free. We can replace a rotten old world with a clean new one. Mr. Vanders, you sound every bit the fanatic. Well, how can I be otherwise, Professor? How can any man of ethics simply stand by and watch this world drown in its own excrement? And your engineer, this visionary with whom you have embarked upon this course, does he share your views? Indeed he does. Indeed he does. The poor fellow has seen it all before. Now, this is not the first great civilization he has wept for. And so you set about things immediately upon your return. Naturally, naturally. These things cannot be left to rot upon the tree. And sponsors were remarkably easy to find. I tell you, Professor, a trail of greed brings rich men to your door like pigs to truffles. All right, so that was a recording from uh, myself. Um, so I think we have to get around over to that side, if I'm not mistaken here, and then go through. Like that's that's looking like what is, what is happening. Oh no, wait, this thing. I'm so near now. I'm near now. Well, okay. I into the vault we go. Wow, this is pretty smithy. I like this. I, um... So I'm guessing we just gotta turn this shit? Left one first? No? What the hell I gotta do? What do I gotta do? Oh, is that it? No, it won't let me... Oh, there it goes. Okay, there we go. Can I? No, I can't do the the shit. Oh, there it goes. Okay, now I do the shit. Boom. That's it. And now I'm trapped, though. I can't get out. Oh, do I gotta turn this off now? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Cool. 
Now we're in some dark ass place with uh, flickery ass lights. Y'all, y'all should really get those replaced, though. What the fuck it? The fuck? A nest of wretches? Dear God, a whole nest of these foul creatures. No mind. My instincts have drawn me thus far, and I am sure somewhere in this dark complex is a means of further descent. I will not see their faces as they go about their dark business, and yet, and yet I watch them sleep and eat and play, and they are so very human, so very childlike. And I will not think of what I have seen, of the chairs and the cages, and I will not think of how such monsters may be sculpted. So are these monsters that Mandis created? So we'll find out. Possibly, because Mandis is involved in this uh, this whole shit. So, alright, there's something over there, but we can't reach that. Now some like old ass creepy music be playing. See, I hate when they do that. Like, I don't know. It's just something about like old 50s and 60s music that really just creeps me the fuck out. I don't know what it is, man. Like, especially when it's in horror games. Alright, so, oh, okay. We got some, like... Oh! Oh! You alright, my boy? You alright? Shit! I'm sorry, yo. Alright, well, uh... Let's continue on. What do we got? Nothing? Guess we gotta go through here. That was a correct assumption. Oh, down into this big boy. I. Right. Ooh, getting pretty uh, pretty dark. Not sure if I like this. All right, there we go. So now we in a butthole. I'm just, I'm just kidding, yo. It's a tunnel. It's a tunnel, guys. I'm kidding. Oh, rumbly rumblies. Down here. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Jesus. Now everything's all red. I'm all hurt and shit. Alright, let's go over here. Take that ladder. And now we dark again. I don't like how it gets so goddamn dark. I can't see shit. I don't know if I'm going down or not. Oh, no, wait. Oh! Okay. Hold up. <laughs> I was about to fall right there. Shit scared me. Okay. Did I do it? I think I did it, yo. Got more rumbly rumblies? Alright, let's go down here. Oh. I don't want to die. Okay. That's the way to go down, yo. That's the way to go down. More ladders. A lot of ladders now. Oh, shit. Okay. We didn't die. It's okay, y'all. We didn't die. All right, so there's a door. Anything else in here that we're going to need? I don't think so. Let's go. All right, here we are. I'm going to end this episode off right here. I know shit's starting to get good. We just went down the butthole. I know. Y'all just going to have to wait till the next one. I hope you do. Please leave a like, please comment, and please, please, please subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.